Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back my dear friends and dear students. Uh, a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you wherever you are. And as you know this is the DADM 2 which is data analysis and decision making 2 uh, course under the NPTEL MOOC series. And this total course uh, is for 12 weeks which is 30 hours being converted into 60 lectures. So, each lecture is for half an hour. And each week we have 5 lectures. So, if you can see as you see in the slide, this is the 6th week, we are in the 27th lecture which is the second class in the 6th six, week and we have already complete, completed uh, 5 weeks. Now, uh, in the last fact 2 or 3 slides in the 25th and then the whole of 26th lecture, uh, we discussed about AHP and we are going to uh, so, sorry we discuss our electra process initially it was ahp and then we continue discussing the uh, the electra process so the main crab, uh, the point which i was mentioning that in the electra process uh, your liking and disliking are basically converted into a outranking set outranking can be both positive and negative in the sense for liking you will basically have a concordance set a positive set, positive in the sense not with positive points, but positive set is in the sense that if as you are taking the decision you are accruing some positive benefits. And for the discordant set you are uh, getting some negative points, not negative in the value sense, but negatives in the sense that you, you uh, accrue some negative connotation for taking that decision. And you will basically do a comparison for each and every criteria based on the alternatives will be considered based on the criteria and it can be done the other way around also. Remember one thing, in the AHP we compared the criteria as well as well we compared the alternatives. Here my main focus would be to compare the alternatives based on the criteria and then you basically do the concordance and the discordance. So, we are considering the electra simple process and as I mentioned there were 6 methods, but we will only consider the first one. So, in the step 2 you have the weights and if you remember the weights which I told was basically sum, you, sum, sum should be 1 and the each of these rows are only one element that means the principal diagonal values are there. So, say it will be w 1 in the 1 comma 1 cell, w 2 in the 2 comma 2 cell, w 3 in the 3 comma 3 cell so on and so forth. So, uh, the principal diagonal values are w 1 to w n when the sum of the weights is 1 and the of the diagonal elements are 0 as you can see from this weight matrix which I am just pointing out in this slide. So, remember as it said that the weights uh, w 1 to w n is 1. So, if you think or perceive that for the criteria 1 you will assign 5 times more priority. Uh, then criteria 2 while that for criteria 3 is of the same value as criteria uh, 2 then the weights would be the weights you are giving for 1 would be 5 times more than 2 and weight for 3 would be 1 is to 1 with respect to 2. So, the total weights is 7 you have divided into the proportions of 5 by 7 is to 1 by 7 is to 1 by 7. So, as you can see the weight for the first one is 5 7, second one is 1 7 and third one is 1 7. So, obviously these are the principal triangle values which you have. So, in this case you have a 3 by 3 matrix. So, in this case uh, we are just taking this example, we, uh, that, that value which I told about 5 7, 1 7, 1 7 was an example that in words if it is mentioned that you are giving 5 times the weight uh, for 1 with respect to 2 and same weight you are giving for 3 with respect to 2 the, the, then the scores what I just mentioned. But for this example we are going to take a very simple case where the weights would be divided in such a way for criteria for the first one it will be 25 percent that is 20, uh, 0.25 out of 1. For the second one is 50 percent which is 0.5 out of 1 and for the third one is again 25 percent which is 0.25 out of 1. 
So, the weights if you consider for the second one is twice with respect to first and, uh, and with respect to the third and the weight for the first and the third are of the same consequence 1 is to 1. So, if you consider the weights it is given as W 1 is 0 0.25, W 2 is 0 0.5, W 3 is 0 0.5, sum is 1. Now, you are basically you have the matrix um, where the points were given, the points were if you remember in I am only reading the first row, first row it is 2 1 1, second row was 3 4 1, third row was 1 3 2 and you are trying to basically normalize them by considering that those particular uh, numbers or the values would be divided by the square root of the sum of the squares. That means, you are trying to utilize some concept of utility function and utility function is quadratic in nature. So, if you have that, so the values would be. Uh, now, another thing as you had done in AHP, remember that you can use the, uh, the sum as 1 or the normalization being done along the rows or along the columns. So, whatever process you follow stick to that throughout the whole, whole uh, decision. So, when I basically do the normalization along the columns, so the first one would be divided by, uh, by the square root of 2 square it is 4, 3 square which is 9 and uh, 1 square which is 1. So, you divide the first element by square root of 4 plus 9 plus 1, second element I am talking about the column. Second element it would be divided again by square root of 4 plus 9 plus 1, third element which was 1 initially it would be again divided by square root of 4 plus 9 plus 1. Similarly, when I go to the second column and the third column the respective values are square root of 1 square plus 4 square plus 3 square which is 1 plus 16 plus 9 that is for the second column. And for the third column, the respective values which will divide each and every element in the third column would be 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square which is 4 plus 1 plus 4. So, once you have this, so this will give you the weighted normalized matrix multiplied by the weight which was capital W. Once you multiply them, remember the one important thing which I did mention once or twice, I again mentioned that that uh, row versus column numbers should be such, such that matrix multiplication would be allowed. So, in this case is 3 cross 3, in this case is also 3 cross 3. So, the end result would be 3 cross 3 matrix and the values which you have would be along the, uh, the rows. I am only reading along the rows is 0 0.14, 0 0.1, 0 0.17 which is the y matrix. Y was basically A into W. The second row would be 0 0.21, 0 0.39, 0 0.08 and the third value would be 0 0.07, 0 0.29, 0 0.17. What are these values? I am going to come to that later very soon. Just remember these values are given and they give us some sort of preference values with respect to each of the, the alternative based on the criteria. And we are going to further proceed with that. So, in step 3, so we have completed step 2 and step 2 you have initially normalize vector x multiplied by w you get the, the, the matrix. Matrix x was normalized multiplied by matrix w of the weights you get the y matrix. In the third step you de determine the concordance and discordance sets. Now, you are going to divide the liking and the disliking set in such a way that combining them you can get a overall the relative ranking. Now, what is the concept of concordance and discordance sets? Concordance index or, or sets are, are basic based on which you will have the sets, indices will give you the way how you uh, take the values and put them either in the concordance set or in the discordance set. So, concordance index a value is defined as the amount of evidence to support the conclusion, listen to this carefully is amount of evidence to support the conclusion that alternative a i would outrank or dominate the, the alternative a j. So, to what degree it will dominate will be given by the concordance set or concordance values. Once you have those values indices you go for the concordance set. While on the other hand discordant index is the counterpart of the concordance set. In very simple terms it, mean, it means mentions the discordant index as the complement of the concordance set 
which will basically support the conclusion that the alternative AI does not outrank, does not dominate the alternative AJ. So, to what degree liking and disliking is there such that you have been able to take AI. So, AI if you like you put it in the concordance set depend on the concordance index, if AI you are going to take it whatever the reason is, but you do not like that based on the discordant index you put it in the discordance set. Then again when you come to AJ with respect to AI, you will also have the concordance index for comparison of AJ with respect to AI, again you will have the discordant index for comparing AJ with respect to AI. Now, one thing should be mentioned that if say for example, the concordance point of taking or point means the values or concordance point of values which you have for taking AI with respect to AJ, it does not mean the level of discordant index would be of the same value when you are when you are told to take AJ with respect to AI. That means, they are not symmetric in the sense liking of AI with respect to AJ does not give me the same level of disliking which I have for AJ with respect to AI, but even if the that is the case we will consider the equidistance concept which I will come to that within few minutes. So, continuing the third step which is determine the concordance and discordance set. So, we will basically have the concordance set between two alternatives A k and A l. So, this formula looks a little bit uh, tricky, it is not once I basically have the values for the decision the problem which you are solving it will become clear. So, for two alternatives A k and A l where you want to basically have k and l any number between 1 to m is defined as the set of criteria for which A k is preferred to A l and what I will have? I will have those values of j. So, now in remember m was the index and n was the index for two different things. One was for the case of the number of alternatives and another was basically the case for the number of criteria. So, c k l would be given a value. So, if, if it is concordance that j th value would come into this concordance set. C is now the concordance set values which I have where the value of y k j, k j depending on j is equal 1, 2, 3, 4 till n where it will dominate the value of y l j. That means, each row or each column you take you compare that values with respect to that fixed value which you are going to compare and then basically place that decision either in the concordance set or the discordance set. So, we are only going to consider the concordance set that means, again I am repeating you will take one uh, value in the cell which is basically the overall score you are trying to assign to any one uh, decision based on the alternatives and the criteria. Now, in the second step what you will do is the second step means in, in, in step 3 the combined one what you are considering you will compare each and every cell value either along the row or the column or along the row with respect to that fixed value. And if it is a concordance value you will put those based on the concordance index you will place those j's into the concordance set and if it is a discordant index is, is predominant then you will put that that uh, value of j into the discordance set. So, and you will compare in this way and, and have basically have the concordance overall set matrix and the discordance overall set or the matrix. The blue line which is showing here is part of the line is relevant portion of the concordance set. So, you will basically it can go on more on to the right there is no issues. What you want to find out is the moment it is on to the right, let me use the blue color one. So, the moment it moves some delta value to the right, it falls under the concordance index and the concordance set. Higher the value is, higher the liking is and in the similar way if I go on to the left, so obviously the I will mark with the red color as I had done for the decision trees if you remember, positive input would be marked as blue color negative input will be marked as red color that means, cash flow going out of your pocket. So, moment is on the left it is red, further you go on to the left it will be basically be a high pro, a value in the discordant uh, set which you have. So, let me read it the blue part of the line is the relevant portion for the concordance set between A k and A l the alternatives for any of the criteria j, j. that means, you are going to take two alternatives take each one of this criteria 
and compare where the criteria stands with respect to A k and A g or A 1 and A 2 and then basically put it in the C set or in the D set. D set I am going to come to that within few minutes. Now come to yes, this is what I said. Now what is the discordance set and based on the, uh, the discordant index we have the discordance set. The discordance set between two alternatives again the same alternatives A k and A l would be marked by those criteria, criteria between, between all the sets of combinations we are going to take will be defined as the set of all the criteria for A k is not preferred with A l. In the first case A k was preferred with respect to A l that is why you put in C set and in the case when A k is not preferred with respect to A l we will put them in the D set. So, as I said the red line which is on to the left further you go higher the value of index is discord in index it and it will definitely come in the D set. D and C sets which I am mentioning would be converted into a matrix. So, obviously, they would be given as bold even though it may not be very sp specific in this slice, but they are basically matrices once you basically have them. Further you go on to the left higher the values and they are in discordant sets. So, it means that if y k l is less than y l j as j changes from 1, 2, 3, 4 till n you put those values of j in the discordant uh, set based on the discordant index. The red part of the line is the relevant portion of the discordant set between a k and a l which are the alternatives for each and every criteria j from 1 to n. Again what I will do? I will compare two different uh, alternatives, take any one of this arbitrary criteria and compare that criteria with respect to these alternatives and then basically put those um, 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 alternatives in this discordant set. That means, I am comparing the two alternatives based on the criteria each and every time. So, if criteria in criteria 1, the alternative first one is better, it will go into the concordant set. If it is not better depending on the score, it will go into the discordant set, we will continue in this way. Now, uh, I will, I will, I, I, I would beg for, to be excused, let me go to the values. So, make a note of these values. So, the values are this, please make a note, again I am mentioning 0.14. I am calling along the first row 0 0.14, 0 0.10, 0 0.17, second row is 0 0.21, 0 0.39, 0 0.08, third row is 0 0.07, 0 0.29, 0 0.17. So, these values I will basically consider to formulate the concordance and the discordance set based on the indices of uh, C and D. Okay. So, now I will basically have the values. For say for example, when I am basically comparing for j is equal to 1, so I will go for j is 1, 2, 3. So, in that case y 1, 1 was 0 0.14, so y 1, 1 is greater than, I am going to compare it with itself and then basically change the values. So, y 1, 1 which is 0 0.14 is greater than and equal to also 0 0.14 which is true, hence j 1 falls in c 1, 1 value in the uh, element concordance. Now, consider 2 j is equal to 2, y 1 2 which is 0 0.11, so I am only considering c 1 1 which is comparison of itself, 0 0.11 is obviously greater than equal to 0 0.11 1 0 which is true. So, second when I am comparing the second to second falls in c 1 1 concordance. Similarly, for j 3 0.17 is greater than equal to 0.17 which is true because I am only considering y11, y12, y13 along the first column which is true. Hence, j3 those are the criteria falls into c11 concordance set. So, hence now I have the concordance set would have 1, 2, 3 and the discordance set would be a null set. So, when I am comparing themselves itself, uh, I will have all the concordance set, which is in the way if you remember the principal diagonal of the AHP all were 1 that means I am comparing first to first, second to second, third to third. So, obviously, the score would be 1 that is why in the concordance set. This is just a simile between AHP I am trying to draw something with AHP and Electra. Now, come to C 1 2 and D 1 2. Now, the comparison would now would basically be placed again for J 1 2 3 but I will compare y 1 1 
y 1 2 and y 1 3 and the comparisons would be done with y 2 1, y 2 2 and y 2 3. So, let us go through it y 1 1 is 0 0.14 is it greater than 0 0.21 answer is false hence the first j is equal to 1 falls in d 1 2 which is the discontinuous value j 2 y 1 2 is 0 0.10 y 2 2 is 0 0.39 y 39 is in the 2 comma 2 cell which is false hence 2 j is equal to false in the discordant set. For j 3 y 1 3 which is 0 0.17 is greater than equal to 0 0.08 which is true hence 3 falls in c 1 2. So, now when I complete the second stage concordance set has that value 3 and discordance set has this value 1 and 2. So, let me go to c 1 3 and d 1 3 comparison. So, for j is equal to 1 I would not read it in details so, for I will just mention the important points for j is equal to 1 j 2 j 3 the values are true true or true false true. So, please I will request as I showed that uh, write the values which were there uh, in the the y matrix and then compare. So, once you have this 1 will go into concordance set 2 will go into the concordance set and 3 would go into 2 will go into the discordance set sorry and 3 would go into the concordance set. So, the concordance sets are 1 and 3 discordance sets is 2. When I compare C 2 2 C 2 1 and D 2 1 for J is equal to 1 2 and 3 the values are true true false and hence 1 and 2 falls in the discordance set and 3 falls in the uh, on 1 and 2 falls in the concordance set sorry and 3 falls in the discordance set. So, the C values are 1 and 2 D values are 3 only because there are 3 elements. Then I go to C 2 2 and D 2 2 again I am comparing J is equal to 1 2 3 the values are true 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 because that would be obviously for C 2 2 D 2 2 or C 1 1 D 1 1 and C 3 3 D 3 3 everything will fall in the concordance end. Hence as usual 1 2 3 goes into the concordance set and D, D which is the discordance set is a null set. When I come to C 2 3 and D 2 3 for values of J is equal to 1 2 3 we have true true false hence they fall into concordance concordance and discordance set. So, the values of the concordance set is 1 and 2 discordance set is 3. So, we will go one step at a time like this. Now, the last leg of calculations would be C 3 1, D 3 1, C 3 2, D 3 2 and then finally, it will be C 3 3 and D 3 3 which will come in the last slide which will just be after this. So, again I am going to take each and every criteria j is equal to 1, 2, 3 the values when I compare are false to true. So, the j is equal to 1 goes into the d set and j is equal to 2 and 3 goes into c set. Similarly, when I go to c 3 2 and d 3 2 for values of 1, 2, 3 I am just repeating the important points. This main calculations which you do greater than equal to and all these things please please check it with the main matrix of y which you have. For j is equal to 1, 2, 3 the values are the truth values are false false true hence they would be in the d set d set and c set. So, c set would have 3 only and d set would have 1 and 2. Finally, for c 3 3 d 3 3 it is very logically very simple all of them would be true. So, j is equal to 1 2 3 would go into the c set and d set would be a null set. So, once this is formulated you are sure that C 1 1, D 1 1, C 1 2, D 1 2, um, C 1 1, D 1 1, then you go to C 1 2, D, D 1 2, then C 1 3, D 1 3, then you go to C 2 1, C 2 2, C 2 3, corresponding you go to D 2 1, D 2 2, D 2 3 and finally, go into the values of C 3 1, C 3 2, C 3 3 you go into D 3 1, D 3 2, D 3 3 because there is a 3 by 3 matrix once you have that the concordance set and the discordance sets 
would be formulated. Now, you will basically find need to find out the concordance matrix and discordant matrix based on the indices. Now, remember that the relative values of the elements in the concordance at C, C this is this matrix is that is why it is bold are calculated based on the concordance index. So, what is the concordance index is basically the sum of the weights associated with the criteria contained in the concordance set which will basically the sum of all the values of C which you are getting for J is equal to 1 till n, J remember is the, the criteria. So, the concordance matrix indicates the relative importance which you are going to place uh, to A k with respect to A l based on the values of C. That means, you will have some sets of, of criteria of uh, criteria which will support A k, some sets of criteria would, would not support A k. So, hence those sub support means you are liking. So, for those sets which you support they fall into the C matrix and those which you do not support should technically go into the D matrix, but we would not go into the D matrix calculation immediately. We are only considering the concordance set based on the concordant index. So, you are trying to basically divide the overall set of um, uh, criteria into two sets liking disliking, but I have as I have only considered or in the set of calculation is only to compare the concordance values hence we will take the liking one and put them in the C set for the D we will basically do another set of calculations separately. So, the concordance matrix again will be of size m cross m. Now, remember what is m? m is the number of uh, decisions which you have alternatives which you have that means you have been comparing the alternatives amongst themselves taking two at a time based on each and every criteria again I am mentioning and dividing them into two sets. So, you are only going to consider on the C indices. Now, this would be asymmetric because the scores which you will have when you assign the important levels between the alternatives will change keep changing depending on the criteria which you have. Now, so, so they would be symmetric. So, if I read the second bullet point, so now we have the following values which were already calculated and given above still we produce the, calc the this same calculation in this matrix. So, if you remember the first cell value here would basically which is 1 comma 1 will have all the C values as 1, 2, 3 D is null set. Similarly, the second cell true all the values are C set and the D set is null and similarly in the 3 comma 3 all the values are in the C set D is basically null set. And the of the diagonal element I will just read the numbers which is 3, 1, 2, 3 being C, D, 1, 2 being uh, D. Similarly, the values are 1, 3, 2 where the first two values 1, 3 are C, D is 2. If I go into the second uh, row it is C is 1, 2, D is 3. In the uh, element 3 comma 2 it is 1, 2 it is C, D is 3. In 3 comma 1 it is 2 and 2 and 3 are C, D is 1 and in the cell 3 comma 2 is 3 is C and 1, 2 are D. So, once I have this step 4 is construct the concordance and the discordant matrix. So, I will only concentrate on the concordance matrix. So, this should be a, a bold one sorry for that. So, if you remember the values uh, are like this. If you consider the first row, second row and third row, the principal diagonal dash 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 value means you are comparing against themselves. So, it does not make sense. So, it means it is an asymmetric one because the values which you compare along the principal diagonals are not symmetric. So, it means that when you are trying to compare the first with the second you get a benefit of 0.25 when you are considering the second with the first you get a benefit of 0.75. What are those values? They are the relative scores. So, this is the um, asymmetric uh, matrix along the principal diagonal. One thing is very interesting is that the sum of the values which you should have of the of that diagonal element should be 1. So, when you are comparing comparison 0 0.75, 0 0.25 is 1, then when you are comparing 
0.5 and 0.5 is 1, then when you are comparing 0.25 and 0.75 is 1, that should be true, because you are comparing in such a way that you are trying to give in the concordance value the same way. So, with this I will end this 27th lecture and continue more discussion about the method of uh, electro process for the discordance set, considering symmetric loss to be there and continue more in the discussion of asymmetric loss later on. So, have a nice day and thank you very much.